Hello everyone. So this is a new segment to my YouTube channel that I am now introducing. I actually usually do this on Instagram where I cook different recipes and I post it under my highlight and then I've always made jokes about uh, trying, trying vegan meat and testing out different type of vegan meats as my job. I have not been able to do that or get paid for that as of yet but I still love and enjoy testing out different recipes, especially different vegetarian or vegan recipes. Um, so I received this packet from Influencer to test out and I am going to open it up and get into the kitchen to cook this up. I would love to continue to do more of this type of video on my Instagram. I have a section for this where I try out different recipes. Um, I am open to suggestions so if you have any suggestions on food that you would like for me to prepare leave the comment below. Um, I do have to say that I would prefer vegetarian or vegan dishes. Um, I eat meat maybe 10% of the time. I I don't even know if I can put a number to that. Like I eat mostly plant-based about 95% of the time, 80 to 95% of the time. I do have cravings sometimes and I feed into those cravings at times, but not very often. Um, my, weak, my weak point is probably seafood and fish, but beyond that, I have basically cut beef out completely. I don't really eat turkey. Um, I've never really been into pork. I don't eat pork. And my biggest thing has been seafood. So this actually started when I was in China. And it started out of laziness because I didn't want to go to the open fresh market to buy vegetables. I didn't like buying meat at the open market because you see it hanging around. And I also didn't want to go to the fresh market, buy vegetables, and then go to the supermarket to buy meat from there because the vegetable at the supermarket wasn't as fresh as the daily vegetable that came in at the open market. So after maybe a year or so of going here and there, I just stopped completely purchasing meat and it's been it's been about a year it's almost two years now since I stopped cooking meat um, I still do eat fish from time to time but that's like maybe twice a month or so not enough to account for um, I do plan on eventually cutting it out but I am moving very slowly right now I'm not in a rush so I just eat what I feel like eating and I try to eat as healthy as possible let me skip ahead to opening this box ASMR? Does it? I don't really know. I don't think it counts. It Organic tomato puree, which is water, organic tomato paste. Uh, it also has organic diced tomatoes in juice, organic tomatoes, organic tomato juice, calcium chloride, citric acid, um, organic roasted garlic, organic evaporated cane sugar, organic extra virgin olive oil, organic garlic, organic onions, sea salt, organic roasted red bell peppers, organic spices so they really just want you to know that they are organic and 
I got this for free to review and let you all know what I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in the kitchen. What I will show you the ingredients that I'm going to use to make my spaghetti with this. And then I'm also using the veggie meatballs and the garden leafless brown. I love to add fresh vegetables to my spaghetti sauce and I basically treat it as if I was making the spaghetti sauce myself. I used enough olive oil to cover the bottom of the pot and then I went ahead and I fried up my onions. I added a little bit of salt in it so that it can bring the liquid out of the salt and just to help it fry up really well. Um, after that, I added in my garden groundless beef, I suppose, well, my ground beef replacement, and then I added in my meatball replacements. So I added in just a few of the meatballs. I added in my mushrooms and then my bell peppers. I actually let it cook longer than what this video seems like. So after I added each ingredient in, I let it cook and soften up a bit before I added the next one. Um, when I added in the mushrooms and the tomatoes, the liquid helps more to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. I also added black pepper, stirred it all up, and then I added some rosemary. I love rosemary, so I made sure to just add just a dash a bit more. I don't even care if there's already some in the sauce, I made sure to add. And then I also added some red pepper and then some garlic powder. I know that the pasta sauce um, is garlic pasta sauce, but I still love to add garlic. And then I went ahead and I added in my tomato sauce. Now, if I was making tomato sauce from scratch, I love to um, roast my vegetables. And then that's how I usually make my tomato sauce from scratch. I roast my vegetables first, and then I cook it all up in the pot with, the, um, with just plain tomato sauce. So make sure you cover it up and then have water boiling for your spaghetti. Um, for my water that's boiling, I have salt in the water and then I also added a little bit of olive oil just to make sure that the spaghetti doesn't stick together. And once you pour it out, make sure that you add cold water. Don't forget to do that. Check on your spaghetti sauce. Do not let it burn. It's time to serve it all up. Ooh, that actually turned out really good. Like it almost looks like regular beef. Regular beef uh, spaghetti sauce. I did not provide a recipe for the salad just because I didn't make it myself. It's a pre-mixed um, salad mix and I just added in kale. If you are from Ghana, you definitely know that pepper sauce that I put on there is the Ghanaian pepper sauce called Chico. I love to add it to every single thing. My hair is tasty, it's tasty like mm -mm, vegetable. Hmm? Oh, it's good. My head though. Kroger. Oh no, Publix. Publix. Mm. Actually, it's okay. Mm, flavor in Nimukestia. There's no flavor. It's okay. It's a little bland. Added black pepper. 
Everything else is fine except for the meatball. The other one, the meat crumbles is fine, but the meatball needs to like simmer more in some sort of sauce. I could do everything but the meatball. The classical sauce, classical. Rise and shine, gotta get the day started. Sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.